I'm Laura Bauer from People's Trust for Endangered Species. I'm Conservation Officer and I mainly work on stag beetles and other beetles in the UK. Male stag beetles are very large black beetles. They've got chestnut tint to their wing cases and they've got very large antler-like jaws. They can be up to eight centimetres long um, and the females are a lot smaller and they've only got these very small antlers. You're most likely to see stag beetles on warm sunny evenings in May, June and early July and you'll see them, the males particularly flying and they're flying to find a mate and they're attracted by pheromones that are given off by the female. The reason stag beetles have these big antlers is actually to fight off um, and wrestle other males so they're actually competing for female attention. So if two males come across each other they will fight in order to get the female. Stag beetles are prone to being eaten by anything that digs really, um, foxes, badgers, um, but once they're an adult and they're starting to emerge and fly, they can easily be picked off by magpies and crows and even jays. So those are the things that will eat them and they, they don't tend to eat the whole of the stag beetle, they just eat the soft body parts. Part of our work is educating people about stag beetles and learning more about them and what they do. They're such great, big, charismatic beetles um, and they can be scary, so some people love them and some people hate them. But either way, they're very important and they're a great species to introduce the importance of dead wood. If you're concerned about encouraging stag beetles into your woodland, then don't be. They don't eat live trees, they're only interested in rotting and dead wood that's under the ground. So one of the most important things that we can do is think of dead wood, whether it be standing trees or fallen logs, as actually a good thing, a really brilliant part of the ecosystem and not a bad thing. It's not all about disease. Dead wood is a natural part of the tree's decaying process and it's essential to stag beetles. Stag beetles are declining across their European range um, and like most species it's, it's a range of different reasons but the primary one is that loss of their habitat people are getting rid of deadwood as it's seen as a bad thing but it's actually part of the natural ecosystem and it's a really brilliant habitat not just for stag beetles but for loads of other species too. If you've got an area with plenty of trees and deadwood then that's going to be perfect for stag beetles. If however you want to do a little bit more you can build a log pile and we call log piles for stag beetles log pyramids because the best way to build them is actually by digging a big hole getting the logs that you have and actually placing them upright and then as that rots it will actually go down and down into the soil and there'll be plenty of um, habitat for stag beetles. Another way you can help stag beetles is by reporting any you see. We don't have many reports of stag beetles from woodland areas, they're mainly from where people live so they're back gardens and parks in urban areas so it'd be great to find out more about where stag beetles are and what woodlands they're actually using. You can go to the Great Stag Hunt website, which is www.pties.org/gsh.